My reef tank is celebrating its 18th birthday. Yes, this tank is now officially an adult. Now, I actually got it probably in July 2006, but I started setting it up in August 2006. I used to post on a forum called Aquarium Pros, which any Canadian reefer of a certain age probably remembers. However, it's long, long gone, but I did find a post I made on nanoreef.com in August 2006 with the original Aquascape. In my last video, the side was really jam-packed, but in preparation for the tank turning 18, I did cut out quite a bit of coral here, so now it actually looks nice again. Probably a dozen, maybe 15 or 20 Kenya trees were cut out. Uh, that Gorgonian at the top has also been trimmed, and a lot of Xena was taken out too. The front is more open, if you can believe that, and there is even a new coral there. Uh, since the tank was turning 18, I figured it's a good time to add a few new things. This Glitter Ganiapora is one of the most in-demand corals. I've had it actually for probably close to two years in my frag system, and finally I put a chunk of it in here. I also added this chalice here. Well, it's the Cloudberry, which is, you know, a semi-popular coral. The reason I added it is it came from a friend's tank, and it was the first frag he ever made, so it has some sentimental value. Now the Monty has also been trimmed so it's not touching the front glass. Now the one thing I didn't get around to is pulling out as much of these purple clove polyps as possible. They tend to grow over corals in this area, but they can be managed. Uh, the big pink Ghani has actually been severely chopped, although you can barely tell other than it's not quite as large. I made a good 30 frags by chopping one side of it off. I also added this green Kenya tree, which I've had for several years, but it's never really done well in this tank for some reason. Now we'll see if this frag does any better than the last ones. And then I also added this little bit of candy coral from uh, a Fiji shipment. So I really cleaned up the tank. Uh, it's looking quite good, much better than the previous video, which was just shot recently. Uh, you can see nothing is touching the front now, but it's still obviously not a lot of swimming space. I'm hoping the tank will last probably two more years if I'm lucky. I would love to replace it today, but it's just such a big, big project. So I'm just going to keep enjoying this reef as long as I possibly can. The seams uh, still look very good. There's not too many scratches. I don't show it, but the stand is really rusted out. However, it's a steel stand, so even if 2% of it has rusted out, that means 98% of it is still intact. So yeah, that's about it for now. I'm sure I'll be making more videos on this tank as it continues to age. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing!